Sam Schreier on a weather alert Monday, Sam. Oh, absolutely. So what we're expecting is deteriorating road conditions if they're not already bad, like Colorado Springs, for instance. We are still snowing. It is extremely cold. The cars and trucks are creeping along I-25, and it's cold enough that anything that looks wet is probably got a layer of ice in there. So you can't guarantee it even with the snow melt that makes it a little trickier, but it is slick outside tough to be driving up hills in front wheel drive cars. Found that out. My Honda Accord got up the hill outside our work, but it makes it tough in Woodland Park. Still seeing very heavy snowfall. It's snow on the roads. It's nine degrees currently with a calm wind. That's the only good thing about this system is the wind is not that bad in Pueblo. Good coverage, low visibility outside 24 degrees. So those roads are staying icy. They're staying snow covered out there until plows can get to them. And then Trinidad, still plenty of snow outside on the roads. How or excuse me, still a little bit of snow out there. More of this will be on the way. It's really only even flurries so far. So here's the situation. We have this dip in the jet stream that is still creeping into Colorado as it pulls closer. The snowfall will increase. The snow will get stronger. So I think that the worst time to be on the road today will probably be between 7 to 11 this morning for kind of most of the area. We've got a low pressure area helping that out, but cold air behind the cold front. You definitely felt that yesterday looking in closer to the Pikes Peak region. We've got snow from Denver to Colorado Springs and settling into Pueblo, starting to fill out southern Pueblo County. So more snow is arriving as we look into Colorado Springs, a bit more local from Widefield, Security Widefield through the Springs to Monument. Coverage of snow, 94, 24 east to Calhan, 24 to Rush, 94 to Rush, I mean, still getting snow. And in and around Teller County and down 115 to Penrose, tons of snowfall. The air temperature is cold and so are the roads. 16 degrees for the road temperature, the Guard of the God sensor. Negative one over the Monument Hill sensor. So the pavement is going to hold ice. It's going to hold snowfall. Canyon City into the wet mountains and out east. That is a slick stretch of roads. So we all have to be extremely careful. And there are some flurries falling from Colorado City to Trinidad. But the thinking is that this will get stronger as we get closer to six to eight o'clock. So by six, a few more flurries south of Pueblo. But by 7 to 8, here is where the good snow is really spread throughout the region. By 9 to 10, some of the heaviest banding will be from the wet mountains south to Trinidad. By lunchtime, start to pull the snow away from the Pikes Peak region, Canyon City. But it's not really till 2 to 3 o'clock we start to back that off in the southern plains and out east. And by 4 to 5, we are good to go.